Hi Tribe, hope you're all well. Sandra from London here, author, speaker, community person, working for a one single tribe. So today, today the, video the video is going, going to, to be about visual, visual noise. It's a thing. Who knew? Why am I talking about this? Well, it's important, especially for people that are dyslexic. What you will find, and I have found in being a dyslexic myself and making it my life's ambition to tell people about life experiences of people that are dyslexic. When I first heard about this, it's been recent, I'm well in my 50s and it was the end of last year, a gentleman called Adrian did a talk uh, one of the groups that I t attend as a dyslexic, um, it's about dyslexia and it's for people that are dyslexic to share their experiences and for people that know of dyslexic people and want to understand better how they experience life as a dyslexic or a new neurodiverse person. So he did a talk about a number of things, he did some activities, but in particular he looked at visual noise and I was like, I've never heard of that, what is that? So I did some research into it and went, my working life has been filled with drudgery and anxiety and fear and worry because of visual noise. It can stop and hinder so many things if you experience it. Worse still if you're dyslexic because you've got all the other added situations that you have to deal with and um, aspects of life and working that you have to deal with. This is just another, which realistically, because it's just the appearance of the environment around you can be change to make life so much easier. Let me tell you a story. I worked at a school in London and I was in the design and technology department. Brilliant department because you're creative. All the resources around you to be creative but the environment, the environment was small. It was cluttered because you had four different things going on in the department that I worked in for design technology. So it was product design, textiles, food tech, graphics all in this very small office all these resources everywhere and it was chaos not only visually because you had so many bits around all over the place and not order in, in order but also there was because it was a small office two computers in it you had to balance on a table to get space to do any work um, if you wanted to plan lessons and things like that and do something really interesting for the children in their lessons there wasn't the space so I'd have to find other space room, rooms in the school that I could sneak in and sit and work quietly because you need quiet as a dyslexic person most dyslexics need quiet some can work with music and quiet background noise to be creative for me and to be able to achieve any admin required I need quiet very difficult to get you have had um, several members of staff because you've got teaching faculty in there and then you've got people that support the teaching faculty and two lovely ladies but when I was sitting there trying to plan lessons they would talk incessantly incessantly the entire time when I'd go back and look at it later in the evening when I went home so I could double check where oh, a lot of it was going to go because you're backwards and forth because you're in their conversation you're trying to block it out the, the noise it was cramped, you can't get the resources you want to check, you want to go and find things, you couldn't find it, it was not where you put it, somebody moved it. These things are a mass hindrance to people that are neurodiverse and experience things like visual noise. Now, I get asked all the time, Sandra, are you really dyslexic? Really? Let me show you one little trick. So it's a two part video really we're having today. So it's about visual noise, which is really important. and this little trick that I'm going to use to tell you a little bit more about visual noise. So I use this and for me it's invariable because it saves me having to physically remember each word that I'm reading. I use these reading glasses with a tint really help because most for me most written stuff the glare is an issue so as a dyslexic and the age I am even though I had the experience of it all my life but what, what it was called and how I could do things to better improve my situation how I lived in my 40s I think I was 45 46 and doing a degree for teaching and technology makes people believe that I a very good speller and amazingly <laughs> comprehend any amount of text given to me in any kind of format whether it be legal text or white paper or book form, whatever. This 
technology not particularly this but technology i use a mac and i use iphones and i've been using them and since, since they came out and i realized that i could do certain things with them to help me to speed me up so visual noise the first point in this video listen this is what i use let me turn up the volume for you make sure the volume's up press highlight scroll down so you're cutting into all of that so it looks like you've highlighted it and it's got focus focus yeah and it's got speak there visual noise i experienced this several times in the work environment well it turns out visual noise visual clutter has the same negative effect on our brains visual noise the activity or movement around the edges of an employee's field of vision can erode concentration and disrupt analytical thinking or creativity research shows now that's just a little bit about visual noise if you didn't get it just rewind and listen to it again it's really important because things like eroding concentration not just disturbing it eroding it so each time you go into that environment where it's cluttered it's noisy you lose a little bit of the ability to concentrate on a task that you have to do and disrupts analytical thinking now you need analytical thinking when you're doing things like grading and marking papers that children have done for their exams it's very important and then looking at where the areas they have to achieve if they're hitting it if they're below it this is all analytical thinking very difficult in a noisy and cluttered environment and you're dyslexic and it is creativity most of the things i was doing in that department are being creative finding innovative and interesting ways to deliver product design graphics food technology and textiles my main part that i played there were food technology and textiles because i just love them they're more hands-on you get you, you produce a final thing um, and i find the children interact better in those subjects those creative fields so that this technology and understanding what the issues are you have as a dyslexic or neurodiverse person are fundamental to you being able to cope manage yourself personally and professionally fundamental this is a bit of a rant video because what what it really is targeting is not dyslexic people because they get it they get the struggles that we you know we we, ha we have a neurodiverse person they get they know they know their experience um so if i'm saying something a lot of it will resonate with people however this video is for people that don't know what being dyslexic and neurodiverse entails and I'm, I'm begging you, please go check it out. You've got friends, you've got grandchildren, you've got partners, you've got wives and husbands, you've got children, you've got nieces and nephews that possibly have or have been diagnosed with being neurodiverse. Check it out, whatever the neurodiversity is. And be less cutting in your comments and expectations for them to be so-called normal in that they might need quiet time to do work they might not want to talk because they want to focus so they can do their creativity they might need the place to be immaculately tidy and everything organized so that they can operate don't bash them over the head bash them over the head um call them weird and that they've got a problem it's not that educate yourself you're showing ignorance if you don't all right that's the end of my rant okay so the usual if you like the video you found it useful please like it click the subscribe button and click the bell if you don't click the bell you don't know when i posted a video and you can't say lovely things and watch and get some information about being dyslexic being a community person being an author being a speaker and doing what what all those things entails because that's what I post about so once you've done all those things comment share it with people share the video share the video share the video and I will see you on the next video please take good care of yourself in these crazy times I appreciate you I love you for watching thank you bye mindset was quite important as well I can feel everything that you bring
Desde 